Now, we are very excited for the fact that the Minister for the Arts is in this evening. Yes. Yeah, we all love them. And uh, they are basing the entire budget for the art scene on tonight's performance. So if it doesn't go well, we're all in trouble. Now, without further delay, if they don't, if it doesn't go well, they're going to give all the money to the Greyhound lobby. Uh, so, without further delay, please welcome our inimitable host, Mr. Giles Brody. Hi, I'm Giles Brody. Welcome to Skull News Day. Uh, sorry, uh, do Greyhound, Greyhound lobby. Yep, the Greyhound lobby. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's a dogs, dogs race, race in a circle. circle. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, well, no, fingers crossed, we'll do a good show and the government won't give the money for the arts to torture greyhounds. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah fingers <laughs> crossed. So, uh, it was Pancake Tuesday the other day and uh, we've got a little bit of a world record breaking situation going on here. And, uh, this evening we're doing something a little bit special. Uh, we're trying to break the record for most pancakes eaten in a single day. Uh, the record is 131. Uh, Keith is backstage now. Uh, he's up to 54. He did die. <laughs> but there's nowhere in the rules that says that they have to be alive, so we'll be updating you later on on how many crepes we can shove into a corpse. Yeah. We had uh, this week the Junior Minister for Housing, uh, Kieran O'Donnell, he forgot to vote against a uh, bill to, 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 to ban evictions. Uh, it just goes to show Fine Gael helping renters the only way they know how, accidentally. <laughs> Didn't mean to do it, folks. Didn't mean to do it. With the Citizens' Assembly on Drugs underway, Politicians are being quizzed on their personal drug use, so we got Pascal Donahue here. Uh, said he's always avoided drugs, as uh, studies have shown that they're a gateway to being empathetic. Uh, Hildegard Nocton and Neil Richmond both said that they tried cannabis but didn't inhale, which shows that Fine Gael is the party you would never actually want to invite to a party. Uh, Ronan, you're a heavy drug user. Um, Tell me, uh, tell me about your experiences. Uh, well, I mean, I did do heroin for about five years, but I never injected. Responsible, good man. So, uh, Enoch Burke's parents are building a replica of his school on the grounds of their home. Uh, this is so he can keep his pointless political vigil, but without costing a fortune. And the family hope that he won't notice, but they are prepared to litigate one Enoch sues them. So, there he goes there. Robert Mugabe's son was charged in Zimbabwe for causing 10,000 euro worth of damage to cars at a party. Another Nepo baby gone bad. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, it's time for our where are they now section. Uh, we are asking, where is the two-pack hologram now? Uh, we're, we're pleased to say that it's going to be uh, hitting the road this summer with its opening act, John Denver on an overhead protector. <laughs> You got your take this stuff, yeah, you got your take Yeah, stuff. I'm going. Uh, prosecutors investigating the shooting on the set of the movie Rust have looked at the manslaughter charges against Alec Baldwin and decided to downgrade. The charges would now be faced by his younger brother, Stephen Ball. <laughs> so uh, it's Oscar season and the Irish are really uh, in, they're in style this year. Uh, the acting nominees include Brendan Gleeson, The Thinking Man's Colomini, Paul Meskell, The Young Man's Colin Farrell, <laughs> Colin Farrell, The Thinking Woman's Barry Keown, <laughs> and Barry Keown, The Brendan Gleeson Man's Colin Meskell. <laughs> <laughs> and also Kerry Condon. <laughs> <laughs> there, there she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nominated for Best International Feature on Colin Kuhn has made history by becoming the first Irish language film to be watched. <laughs> also in the news, in a confused fuck you to cancel culture, James Gunn, producer of the troubled superhero movie The Flash, has replaced its controversial star Ezra Miller with Al Porter. He's making a comeback, folks. Uh, speaking of Hollywood, the city of Los Angeles is today experiencing its first blizzard for over 30 years. Guess I'm finally getting that threesome from my college girlfriend because hell is finally frozen over. <laughs> <laughs> T.G. Carr in Russia today are uh, producing a new show, Tin Whistleblowers, where whistleblowers are taught to tin whistle. The first guest is uh, Edward Snowden here, so you're going to find out. 
I like it fits on. Uh, Irvin, he's putting hot and whatnot. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Play better. Better. I don't know how to play the tin whistle. Maybe you will play better by window. No, no, right, right here's fine. Thank you. We now have a word from our sponsor, Harvey Norman. At Harvey Norman, we're having a sale on all Harveys and all Normans. Need a Harvey or a Norman now? Get a Harvey or a Norman now. Only at Harvey Normans. Free delivery if you buy a Harvey and a Norman. They don't like being separated. Did Harvey Norman send you that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. They don't, they don't like being separated. separated. So if you get a Harvey, you also get a Norman. And now it's time for the Colgan Report with Owen Colgan. How are you, Owen? Giles, how are we? Good, Owen. How are you doing? I'm good. Big report this week? Uh, I don't actually know. Sorry. Why, why not? Oh, I just wasn't arsed. Okay, that's great. Talk to you later on. Okay, Giles. Thank you. Back to you. So we all saw the heartwarming viral video of our next guest, Amanda, giving her boyfriend, Alex, a gift to remember. Now, before we bring them out, we're just going to have a quick look at the video just to remind ourselves... Happy birthday, baby! Uh, <laughs> there he is, the birthday is. boy! Is this uh, what I think it is? I think Mr. it is! Jeremy no! It's a voucher for... Climbing Mount Expedition. Yay! You just love that Everest documentary we watched so much that I was like, this is what I gotta get my man. More people dying. Though. Yeah, in, yeah. And I don't know, is experience, I've never done, is... Oh, don't worry training. about that, baby. You just follow the, the trail of corpses to the top. That's what everyone does. Super it's, easy. You're not going to get lost. It's me. Are you coming with me? No? no, honey, I wish I could, but you know I'm afraid of heights. Hmm. So am I. Yeah, I haven't even told you the best part, okay? It is all for charity! <laughs> it's all for charity, baby. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Fun, Amanda and Alex. Good on them. Good on them. Amanda and Alex to the stage, please. Oh, here they are. Look at them there. Oh. Hey! Everest bound. So great. So great to see you too. So, oh my uh, gosh, thanks for having us. We're so excited to be here. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you here. And it's so good to see you. And uh, hey, Alex, uh, you must be looking excited to, uh, to Everest. Which camp are you most looking forward to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> He's still in a bit of shock. <laughs> yeah. Let's just see, uh, you see camp one here. It's, uh, you really want to kind of look out and be on, your, be on your toes for the death camp, kind of. Death. Yeah, death yeah. camp. Yeah, the death camp. Ronan? Death camp? Yeah, so the death camp is a period above which uh, kind of human life can't really be sustained without oxygen support. It's quite well known. There's a person called Purple Boots who uh, froze to death and they can't move them. So it's a marker on the way up. So just if you're, if you're going up the mountain, you will just see a person huddled over holding their, their knees uh, to their chest and uh, they're wearing purple boots. It's and just so good to be doing something for charity. Why isn't yeah, base camp the first? Why isn't base camp camp one? Oh, God. Look, he's full of questions. He's full of questions. That's amazing. So, Stop looking at that, honey. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. So now, um, Amanda, we did a little bit of digging into your past. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're a little bit of a charity legend, <laughs> it would seem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A few years ago, you organized an expedition to the bottom of the sea with seven of your co-workers. I did, To, to raise I did. money for charity. I did. Yeah, now, everyone perished, but... There we raised a thousand euro for charity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, we that's did. Great. That's great. We did. Up, so Pretty that's, exciting. Pretty powerful. Perished? Yeah, yeah, that's great. How many people? Seven, seven people. Seven for a thousand. Yeah, yeah, euro. but it's for charity, so you know, don't be, a, don't be, a, don't be a supposed. Yeah, we raised money for the Jeremy Piven Foundation. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, which if you're yeah. not familiar with that yeah. charity, uh, it's it, uh, it's for supporting Jeremy Piven, which I think is Jeremy really important. Piven, yeah, and all that's he not, does. That's not important. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to do. <laughs> so uh, not only that, uh, your do goodery doesn't end there. Your <laughs> family uh, were running through a field of landmines for charity recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't do. It yourself though no i didn't unfortunately i find landmines very triggering Aww. um r.i.p princess diana oh princess diana she wasn't she was wasn't killed by landmines no what, who was she killed by paparazzi then? chasing her pavarotti the singer no 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 pa <laughs> ridiculous hey i think you should what? let your wife talk okay or your girlfriend you're, 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 you're just <laughs> not any good at it. we're common law married oh. did 
That's a phrase how, how everyone likes to hear. How did your family get on? Did they? Yeah. My family? Oh, well, um, I miss them. Uh, they did not. They did not make it. Yeah, no. but. but you did raise over 500 euros. 501. Hey, come that's, on, that's come great. on. That's great. That's less Every than, little bit counts, that's less people. Than seven people who died in the. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's not about how much you raise, it's the spirit of charity, the spirit yeah. of giving, you know. So, um, yeah. uh, so look, this is actually should, the fifth should I, person. Should I at least practice by climbing the sugar loaf or something? Yeah, well, you know, it's funny you say that because uh, sweet Alex here isn't the first guy I've sent to the top of Everest. No, no. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I love to love. Uh, but uh, uh, all of those guys before, how, they, they did practice on the sugar loaf. Five. Um, uh, five on the sugar loaf. One of them didn't make it to the top of the sugar loaf, which was more of a him problem. But you were saying that you wanted to go to the top of the sugar loaf, which I think is a great idea. Well, well no, I, I don't know if I should try, I don't want to die. Not, <laughs> not yet. Charity is so important, yeah, people. And um, I'm just so proud of the work that I'm doing. Look, look, uh, you know, you're doing great. And Alex here, he's only dying to climb Everest. It's not look at him much. there. It's not that much. Can't wait, can't wait. Maybe so please. we could have a whip around and everyone here would pay 8,000. <laughs> you know, anytime yeah. this man speaks, all I hear is, I love you, I'm proud of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's go get you up there, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the charitable Amanda and imminent icicle Alex. Thank you very much. And now, yeah, it's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Godspeed. Uh, so, Rona, what do we have next? Uh, our next segment is actually mandatory RTE arts retrospective documentary, <laughs> which presents Wouldn't It Have Been Great If I Had Been In That with Twink. Shit. Do we, we're just going to show some VT? Or, yeah, let's or, shoot to a we, VT. Or, or, no, no, no. Twink's, actually Twink's not here, is <laughs> No, she? Twink is in the building. Oh, right. shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, hey, Twink. Hey, how's it going? You, you all right? Twink, everybody. Come on. It's Twink. My shoe broke. Pantomime legend. This is weird. Twink. It's very expensive. Okay, do you want me to... I can sin, sit down and... No, I'll, it's I'll, fucked. Okay. <laughs> Some people are institutions. The Pope, me, the Spire, Michael D. Higgins is very large dog. Yep. That bitch, Linda Martin. If you're deaf and dumb, but much like Jesus, and when I called her the C word, sometimes people hate the truth tellers. Right. Now, imagine if you will, Oscar award winning film, Parasite. Sure, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the Bong Joon Ho uh, masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yes. great. Yes, yeah. that film would have been fucking 20 minutes long if I had been in it. Okay. I would have burnt those rats right out of the walls. <laughs> rats? What rats? What are you doing? I've, he, Bong Joon Ho has clearly never worked in theatre. I fought bigger parasites than that in the gate, let me tell you. Okay, all right, okay, okay, whatever about that. But like, let's talk about mm, Irish films. How about that? Irish films, like The Quiet Man. Well, no, something yes. kind of not as dated. Maybe some of the, like the Paul Meskel film uh, after. Son, I was one year old when The Quiet Man was filmed, but hey. picture this, me in the Technicolor, my dimples glowing, a Maureen O'Hara red wig on me, the people of that town wouldn't have been quiet, no, nope. I would have been the talk of it, they would have stolen me and sold me on the black market. <laughs> Is that, is that a good thing to want to be sold on the black market? Yes, I'm just saying. Like, okay, all right. No, I guess that's true. This is show business, Sure, Michael. sure, sure. But I'll tell you that for free. You have to be mental to make it in okay, this Okay, okay, okay. Sure, okay. But here, let's talk about like uh, Irish tastemakers and filmmakers like uh, Lenny Abramson. You know? the, Lenny Abramson. Yeah, the, the, behind uh, normal people. The I did, there are no normal people, I'll tell you that. And again, Michael, okay, Bono yeah. says that now. He talks a lot of shite, but about that he's right. Also, Coco Chanel once told me, don't let the bastard it's grind you down in a dream once. Yeah, yeah. Lenny, Lenny Abrahamson. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about that now. I wasn't in it now. Okay, okay, you weren't in it, but... You know, Do you know what else I wasn't in? Loads of things. You hit the nail on the head. Exactly. What is Avatar 2. Okay, yeah. The way of water. The way of shite. Okay, all right. Blue is my colour. I look great in it. Also, very close to nature. You should see my rosodendrons first class. Sure, sure. I don't doubt that. And but... they would have saved money. I wouldn't need a green screen because I can perform. They would have saved money. And I am basically of the soul of a Native American, like Cher in the 80s. Well, I was there. <laughs> Cher, Cher's not Native American. And Twink. that's showbiz, Michael. Okay, all right, okay. Well, look... Uh... What about, you know, like, uh, uh, there are other things that have happened, you know, in the last couple of years of showbiz, you know, outside of Linda Martin and The Quiet Man and stuff like that, you know. 
Paul Mescal is doing well. There's exactly. Call, call me it's by all your name is about uh, branding. Yeah, yeah, branding. Sure, I tried sure. to have the name Twink branded, but the gay pornographers got to me their first. Oh. They wouldn't let me have it. There you go. They're always ahead of the curve. Yeah, yeah. Well, always. Always, yeah. Well, look, I, I just think kind of this is maybe a dumb show. I mean, you're just going to come on and say, I should have been in this or I should have been I in that. I should have been the one fucking the fruit and call me by your name. I'll tell you that much. Okay, all Timothy right. Spragner, whatever he is, beautiful. But where is the craft? If I had him in the Billy Barry kids, I would have bet the glumness out of him in seconds. They'd eat him alive. you keep them hungry. Because, uh, as I know, when, when they go out there driving their little tractors on the Late Late Show, you believe they're from a farming family. Okay, okay no, but they, those, those kids driving the tractors are from a farming family. The little kids on the Late Late Toy Show. It should have been me! Should have been you driving tractors on yes. the Late Late Toy Show. Oh, okay. He said that about anything. What about like Battleship Potemkin, you know? It should have been the child in the carriage okay. going down the stairs. All right, okay. What, a, a train pulls into the station. Twink pulls into the station, gets a standing ovation. Okay, all right. That's fair enough. All right, Twink, um, thank you for being on the show. Uh, we'll leave I it should there. be hosting the show. Okay, okay. We'll leave it there. Thank you, Twink. Thank you, Twink. Good, good, good stuff. <laughs> okay. right, so, a young Irishman was robbed in central London earlier today. Uh, this viral video is the only clue that police have at the moment. Sorry, sir, sir, do you live around here? I do, yeah. yeah how much do you pay for your rent? Uh, 3,000 a month. Oh, right. can, we, uh, can we see your see, see place? Sure, I don't see why not. Oh. Here we are. Oh wow. Pretty uh pretty modest, this, but, you know. This is lovely. Yeah, yeah, I'm lovely. I'm lovely. Great, great. Yeah. Do you have any do you have any rope? Um don't have any rope, unfortunately. Um why why do you need rope? Just to tie you up with. Oh oh right, right. Um I do have a few chargers you could probably oh, use yeah, to tie yeah, me up. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, okay, cool. great. Lovely floor. Oh thanks. Yeah, it was actually underneath this horrible purple shag carpet, and then we pulled that up. It's all this beautiful hardwood floor underneath, yeah. Lovely, lovely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, where do you keep your safe? Oh, it's behind the Monet, over oh, there. Wow. Is that a real Monet? It is, actually, yeah. It's probably worth more than the money inside the safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, there's a lot of money in that safe, to be fair. Well, I'm quite rich. What's the combination? Uh, one, 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 one. Oh. Eric Clapton wrote Layla on this. Yeah, would you believe? The very guitar, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me, uh, what's the area like to live in? Oh, it's really nice. I gotta say, no complaints. Very little crime, if any. <laughs> Did I get him along? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> stop me. Go on, crack on. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna let you out of that chair. Oh, yeah. okay. Great. And then, yeah. then I'm gonna tie you to that radiator. Sounds good. Because I want that chair. Oh, yes, good choice. It's very, a very nice chair. You've got good taste. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny, when he asked for the rope, I thought he was asking for it so he could hang himself. Yeah, I guess that is funny. Yeah. Um, so now it's time for sports uh, with our favorite sports guy, Dom Zanili. Come on! Dom! Hey! Hey! What's going on, Dom? How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, Giles. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> right, so uh, you gave us a, a tip for the 455, a very colorfully named horse. Um, what was the name of that horse? Uh, eat Shit. Eat Shit, yeah, that's right. And um, we just see now that Eat Shit really lived up to its name. Uh, How do you mean? Uh, it, it, did not, it did not finish the race. It actually, it actually was eating all the other horses' shit. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's right, we're doing the news here. Oh, shit! Can you keep it together? What's up, Dom? I put everything on that! What? Did you what? I put everything on each shit! Why'd you do that? What? That, there was another horse running the race! You should have put the race! That's so what you should have put the money on! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God, look, okay, look, here, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look, uh, 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 okay, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, so... Yeah. Alright, okay, so, look, we're just going to, uh, maybe just tell us, who's Dom's big sports boy of the week? Oh, yeah. Dom's big sports guy of the week is, let me tell you, it is yeah. the best yeah. team in the holy... Bro, sorry. Sorry, just go back, to, uh, sorry, there was a problem with the wire. Did you lose everything? Ronan, I'm sorry, I lost everything. Oh, I should explain. Ronan is uh, his sponsor and uh, gambling anonymous. Um, <laughs> we're in sorry, G Ronan. A together. 
<laughs> Sorry, Ronan. I just. I, I thought it was a sure thing. And no, I was, Dom! This is months down the. Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't Dom. tell Barbara, alright? Just don't tell her! There's no need to tell Barbara! I have never ruined you and Barbara's relationship! Thank you! Just how much did we lose? We can come back from this. Okay, okay, I'll stop betting. Just. You will stop betting. I now. will stop betting as soon as I get the results of the dice game that right. Tommy the Beef and the Boys are putting on later on. Right? You put a you put a bet on with Tommy the Beef and the Boys. I did. It's a short thing. It's never a short thing, Tom. Uh, oh, right. oh sorry. I was gonna text. Just one second, guys. Right, okay, I'm just right. gonna read this. Tom. Tom. Tommy the Beef and the Boys. Here it's we go. Not gonna be good. Oh, oh no, he lost the dice game, oh, didn't God damn it, Tom! I lost the dice game, guys! What was the point of all those weekends away if we haven't gotten you cu cured yet? Hey, look, but, well, okay, look, we can work through this, Robert. Dom, well, what did you lose? Come on, it's, we can come back from this. Yeah, yeah. I lost it all, Rodan. What did you lose? lose? I lost, lost Barbara, eh? You know, she I lost you, Rodan. I bet you. <laughs> You bet Ronan. That doesn't make sense. What do you mean? You lost them too. I bet Ronan. And I lost. Okay, well, what and does that mean? He now has to become one of Tommy Beef's boys. I can't <laughs> well, well, listen, listen. Yeah. Tommy the Beef, he owns a used car lot across town. He's got a team of chimney sweeps. He's not a chimney sweep. I can't be a chimney chimney sweep though. You're gonna have to be. You're gonna start seeing the changes soon. I'm sorry, Rodan. I can't believe that I did this. I'm sorry. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait, what's happening? Oh, come blimey. Wait a second. No. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, he's taking over. <laughs> No income no, tax! No, 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 this, 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 is, this stops it! He can't do this! He can't be one of the, the, the Beef's boys! He's a news boy! I don't know what to do! Hey, I bet you he doesn't become one of the boys! Oh, I'll take that bet! Hey, 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 you take that bet, okay? Yeah, yeah. Alright, you're gonna bet, okay? Okay, yeah. rock, paper, scissors, I'm gonna do scissors! Okay, one, two, three! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> no income tax to OPAT. Okay, all right. That's been resolved. Everyone's satisfaction. He's going to die a cockney. All right, let's bring on Aaron. Hey, it's Aaron. So, uh, Aaron, uh, you're here to tell us about the weekend forecast. Tell us I am. What's, what's going on? Well, uh, I have some good news for you, finally. I know it's been a cold and rainy couple of weeks, but uh, things are turning around. Oh, that's <laughs> excellent, that's excellent. Might I say, Aaron, you're positively glowing. Oh, you, well, you look, uh, thank you, you so much great. for noticing. Yeah. Um, actually, if I could just take a moment. Um, I know that uh, a lot of my followers have been following my divorce journey on TikTok, <laughs> and uh, I just want to take a second to thank you for your support, and to also just share here that I have actually met someone really special, so Aww. I have someone new in my life. That's fantastic! You married your life, I'm excited! Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's delightful, I'm, I'm delighted. Yeah. <laughs> this is not someone who's going to be intimidated by your success like the old guy. <laughs> well, I mean, most men are very intimidated by my success and my talent, uh, but I finally found a man who treats me like the goddess I deserve to be treated as. <laughs> I think, And I just want to say, to anyone single out there, just uh, hold on. Your uh, special person might be right around the corner. Just be patient, okay? And speaking of patience, I know we've been waiting for some sun, and we do have some sun coming around the bend. Like those boys from Liverpool used to say, here comes the that. And uh, <laughs> this weekend, we have uh, some lovely weather coming around. We have some extended dry spells in the south and the east part of the country. So break out your crop tops, break out your shorts, uh, plan a picnic, maybe go on a romantic hike with your new love, maybe meet the parents. I know that's what I'll be doing this weekend. Oh my God, this sounds very, very serious. This yeah, well, romance. when you know, you know. And I know I'm worth it. Uh, I also know that I'm zooming towards 40, so I gotta get start cracking uh, for kids and all that. So, yeah, well, yeah. You go, girl. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, on Saturday, uh, Saturday evening, we're going to have a low of 8 degrees, 
And um, Earth, oh my, oh Earth, my, Earth. oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I left my it's phone. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my God, it's him. <laughs> you don't have to. Have to Should I answer, answer it? No, you, you don't. Yeah. 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 Go on. Can't get enough okay. for you. You go, hey. girl. Uh, I'm, I'm doing the show right now. Oh, you know. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, well, now's not a good time to talk. <laughs> he loves me. Um, well, can we talk later? <laughs> um, I, don't, I just, I don't really understand. Um, <laughs> I don't, you just meant to leave a voicemail. Okay. Um, um, yeah, no. Are you sure? I just, I think, I think we have something really, spe okay. Yeah, no, yeah, you too. Yeah. All right. Um, you okay? Yeah, yeah, um, on Sunday, <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday, uh, there, there are actually going to be some clouds, uh, some clouds rolling in, and, um, you know, probably this week there'll be some big storm coming in from the west that's just going to destroy all of our plans, uh, because guess what? The sun can't commit. <laughs> the, don't think that just because we have one nice day, we're fucking France <laughs> or Spain. <laughs> you know, this country maybe just doesn't deserve sun. You know, even though this country tries really hard and has a lot of heart, and yes, it has a drinking problem, but it's working on it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, uh, enjoy the weather. <laughs> Now a word from the sponsors for this episode of Slow News Day. I met him on Tinder and he seemed nice, you know? I kind of noticed he seemed rich because his bio said, I'm the king of Spain and I am rich. So yeah, reading really between the lines, I thought he does seem like he has money. On our second date, he rented out an entire tube station. All of it, like one of the big ones as well. It was crazy. So I uh, understand he's a big tipper. Yeah, always tip 10,000%. Why 10,000? It's his favourite number. He'd buy a bottle of water for a pound, and then he would tip 10,000 pounds on top of that. Jesus. That's a lot. Tell me about your third date. Uh, pretty standard. We went to a pub, got a couple of drinks. He wanted to drink outside, because there was a weird smell. But I do remember when we went outside, the weird smell was there as well. She had no idea who she was dealing with. It was during that date he asked for a loan of 50,000 pounds. Jesus, how did you respond? I gave it to him. He uh, left me this voicemail. It's 50 grand. I'll pay you back in two weeks. I'd really appreciate it. If it's a no-go, no worries. You're still aces. Chat to you later. He paid me back within a week. Maybe it was six days. He paid me back 60,000 pounds. That's 10,000 more than I originally gave him. So I called him. I said, you've overpaid me 10 grand. And he said, that's all right. That's for you. You have me at a really tight spot, and I appreciate it. If he was so nice and rich, why aren't you still going out with him? He had dick farts. There's no cure for dick farts, but that doesn't mean you can't live a perfectly normal life. Whoa, whoa wait, Doc. What do you mean there's no cure? It Well, it means that this can be managed. You've you got to help me, Doc, it, please. It can be, it could, please, it's non-stop, it's every waking I'm, moment. I'm very aware of that. You I just my social life was ruined by relationships. My, you're, get, please, please, please help stop me. doing that. Maybe it can be managed if you sit back down. I can manage it. I can save me. Tie her underpants, you know? Some kind of rubber underpants. This can be managed. Yeah. It, at the very least, away from my face. Stop putting it in my face. Good. You're just like the rest. Good. You're learning. Yeah, the sense of smell. Can your star sign allow you to get away with fraud? Well, one judge in court certainly thinks so. Roman, what star sign are you? Roman. Roman, what are you doing? Come on. Get, get with it. What are you doing? Sorry. Uh, you remember that plant in the audience earlier who was asking why isn't this a podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, while we've been here, we've turned it into a podcast and it's been quite a hit. What? Yeah. Just, it's, it's, it's a real hit. People okay, don't talk okay. about it's the show. It's, it's, nitty gritty. It's not just people speculating on me maybe wearing a, a wig. Not a wig, a girdle. Uh, yeah, what? It's, well, yeah, look, whatever you have. Okay. Like, no, no one would ever judge anyone for having, uh, you know, whatever makes you look good. Man. Sure, sure. Well, let's have a look at this, uh, this podcast thing. Okay, now before we go to our special guest, 
We need to do a big shout out to our sponsors, that was just BMW. A that was just to make sure Thanks for the BMW, BMW. BMW. Beep beep. We love you, BMW. They're sponsored by BMW. Uh, How'd yeah. that happen? Breaking news. B -b 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 breaking news. Oh my word! You won't believe this. <laughs> We've just gotten a live report that Gerda McGee is a wig wearer. Oh. <laughs> well, that explains the smell of wig paste. Am I right? Is that what that smell was? Yeah, I used to work in a boutique wig and pastry, and mm. let me tell you, you don't forget that smell. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of a wig pastry, I'll tell you that. Mm. Listen, uh, are we happy to uh, report this as fact, even though we don't really have any real information about it? Yeah. yeah. That's a fact, Jack! Oh, it's a fact! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! All right. Oh, and now our special guest has just arrived to dish the dirt on Wiggy McGurdle is the co-host of Slow News Day, Ronan Carey. What the hell? Good job. Sit down, Darren. You are so skinny. Thank you. Now, Ronan, get those cans on you. Yes, fire ahead. Two words, wig, paste. <laughs> Two words, can confirm. <laughs> yes. Hey, I didn't say it. I knew it. I knew it. This is not fair. And you this can call into this podcast oh, at any time. You've got the number down the, the bottom of the I'm screen. Them, particularly right want now. to hear your thoughts about wig paste gate. Anyone from the wig paste community, love those guys. While we have you, what is your desert island book? <laughs> God, I would probably have to say the novelization of George of the Jungle. Wow. That's good. Wow. It's, it's timely. It's timely. Yeah. He's it's on the way back. Now I need to ask as well, what's your desert island film? Oh. oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Classic question. Mm -hmm. A film. My favourite film. Yes. Yeah. On a desert island. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, whatever, like there's so many to... Whatever TV, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but yeah. It's an easy one. Mm. Any film. Any film. Any film. Okay, there's so many. Even a TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, while we try to get Ronan to think of any film he's seen, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the callers. Caller, you're on the air, do you have anything to say about Pastegate? Yeah, yeah, hey, put me through to, put me through to Ronan. Yep. Yeah, you're some fucking bastard, you know, that fucking slagging me off so a bunch of fucking shitheads can laugh at me. Not fair, man. That's not cool. I thought we were friends. Who is this? It's it's Giles. Giles. Giles Brody! Fuck's sake, here. You talk to him. You talk to him. Listen up, old boy. It's me. You. I have an answer to the film question. My favourite film, film is George, George of the, the Jungle, Jungle, the only film I've ever seen. seen. I, tried I tried watching other, other films, films, but none of them none have of them George, George of the Jungle, of the jungle in them. Jinx! Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! yes. yes. I, love oh, well I love that little guy. You are incredible! <laughs> And now a word from this week's sponsor. Is your crow depressed? Then give it crocane. Crocane. Cocaine. For crows. Here we go, our first minister. Right here, ministers. So these are government ministers. Let's just. So establish that. This is the first minister, minister for saying that there's going to be big changes around here to their cash. Um, we'll get back to you in a minute. First, we're going to hear from the minister for complaining that there aren't enough real Irish people in ads. Um, yeah, uh, no one cares, no one cares, no one cares. Fuck off, fuck off. Okay. All right, next, we're going to hear from the minister for shops where newspapers are turned around upside down for no reason at all. It's like regular reading, but you're in Australia. Fantastic. Good eye, mate. Okay, right, that's why I always want to Excellent allocation of funds. Um, so, a, uh, uh, your rebuttal, uh, minister in charge of picking music in the gym. Uh, minister in charge of picking music in the gym, is he here? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Hey, Minister. Yeah, so I love ketamine. All right, okay. You love ketamine. All right, why, why do you love ketamine so much? Oh, it's like dancing in a fucking rainbow, man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'd love to try some someday. Ah, uh, shut up, Giles. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking it's ketamine, not ketamine. Okay. Yeah, All right. Uh, it was worth it. Uh, 
Minister for overpacking. What, what do you have to say? Everything is Tetris if you try hard enough. Okay, yeah. Right. Now that's the challenge. Naysayers say that you can't bring beat umbrellas to Crow Patrick. Well, I say they hate Ireland. Okay, okay fair enough, fair enough, thank you. And uh, Minister for Overlapping Dialogue, do you agree? Uh, well, uh, and, uh, yes, sir, if you just ask me, I just wait until I finish. And, and just let me finish. I do have a, a point if you just let me actually all hear each other. There. Okay, Minister for Coincidences! What do you have to say about this? Yeah. That's not who you are. <laughs> Mr. for coincidences. Yeah, it's a coincidence. Mr. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mr. Mr. For, for likely stories. Uh, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> likely stories. Yeah, I'm sure. Indeed, it indeed. Was. Um, so, uh, Minister for Flash Bobs. Maybe yeah. this time. Whoa. Yeah. Bring it away, <laughs> Peter. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the wrong room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't flash up here. Minister for Karma, Minister for Karma. I knew that was gonna happen. He's in the wrong room because he lived his life wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, what about you, Minister for Loud Velcro Wallets? I Minister only have 15 euros worth in my <laughs> very loud wallet. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and your response, Minister for Quiet Velcro Wallets. I will stop that wallet down your throat. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, Minister for suggesting we give uh, guns to guards. Uh, Minister for suggesting... I'm just suggesting, we should give some guns to guards. Okay, all right, but what happens if a bad guard gets a gun and starts shooting loads uh, of people? Bad guy with a gun? Get a good guy with a gun! Okay. <laughs> fine, 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 okay. And, shoot them. and finally, finally, Minister for saying there's going to be big changes Thank around you, here to you. their cat. Tell um, me. Anyway, as, as, as I was saying to my cat, there's going to be big changes around here. Very big. Great, great. That's all I needed to hear. Fantastic, Thank you. fantastic. Thank you. And now we're going to go to the. Well, we, got, we have to do the kids' bit. Okay, right, okay. I don't really want to do that. Okay, we're fine. So we got to do the kids' bit. This is the last bit we got to do because we're getting money because we're written by Guy Prison. Yeah. Uh, so, can we just, uh, now we're going to have, uh, God help me, now for the last part, uh, or last segment, what are all the cool kids jerking off to? And uh, here are the, what are all the cool kids jerking off to dancers? Uh, here they come. Yeah. yeah. Great, 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 there we go. All right. Okay. All right. And so. Get in here! Yeah, 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 good. So, okay. Uh, so, uh, number three. Number three! Of what all the cool kids are jerking off to, uh, it's an uh, asteroid shaped like an arse heading for Earth! Whoa. Whoa. At number two! Number two! It's the thought of owning a house! Yeah. At number one! That's it, that's it. Uh, do you want to thank you to the What Are All The Cool Kids Jerking Off To Dancers? What? I'm the cool kids! Okay, that's not too. Jerking off too. Right, okay, yeah. Jerking off too. Sure, sure, okay. Um, what? Thank oh, you for boy. coming along. I'm the cool kids! Uh, Holy shit! Wait, hang on. Hang on, Arts Minister! Arts Minister! Did you enjoy the show? He did not enjoy the show! He did no, not enjoy the show! No, 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 Giles, Giles, Giles! Hang on, what's going on? Did you not hear? So the Arts Wait. Minister, not only did they not enjoy the show, no, okay. uh, they decided they're going to give all of us jobs with the Greyhound Lobby. What? That's terrible! I don't want to work with the Greyhound Lobby! This isn't what I signed up for. Don't worry, you don't get, you're not, you're not being offered a job. Oh, okay, alright, so where is, where is the Greyhound Lobby guy? Oh, he's, uh, sir, oh, he's, I thought he was with the check from the Arts Council. Oh. Thank you very much for coming on this evening. So, uh, yeah, we'd like Thank to you all so much for experiencing a slow news. Thank day. you very much. Good night. <laughs>